Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video, and in this video, I gotta talk about a few things before I get into it, though. Do want to apologize for the lack of videos over the last week, been busy with a lot of stuff. Yeah, and it's pretty much the same excuses as every time there's a drought on my channel, but I believe this is like the longest drought I've had in a little while. It's been like four days since I've uploaded a video, definitely do not want that to happen again. But yeah, with that out of the way, I do want to talk about a few things. A great Humble Bundle, it's been going on for a little bit, a lot of you guys hit me up on Twitter asking me why. I didn't mention it. It's one of the best Humble Bundles in a long time. We've got a pretty good game that's absolutely free to play right now. And then I also want to give you guys an update on the PlayStation 3 emulator because it is making some massive, massive upgrades. So first of all, I want to talk about this Humble Bundle, which is an absolutely terrific bundle. The pay what you want tier, so this is as low as a dollar, will get you Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. That right away is amazing. Borderlands, as well as all of the DLC, is going to give you an insane amount of content for your money. Borderlands alone alone has a lot of replayability to it, but then you throw in all of the DLC, that's worth well more than a dollar alone. Then you have the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing Final Cut, that's a very nice addition as well. That's a Diablo-like dungeon crawler, a really solid experience, and then you also get Worm Unlimited, haven't played that so I can't give my opinion on that, but all that for just a dollar is terrific. Then the beat the average of $5.23, this has gone up a little bit, it was actually at $4.95 at one point. This will get you Endless Legend Classic Edition, Borderlands, 2 plus DLCs, and Guild of Dungeoneering. It only includes a few of the DLC packs, Psycho Character Pack, the Mecromancer Character Pack, Ultimate Vault Hunter Upgrade Packs 1 and 2. So this isn't the Game of the Year edition, but still to have that in the Beat the Average, $5.23, that's awesome. I believe Borderlands 2, the vanilla game, goes for around $5 during a Steam sale. So yeah, you get that as well as all the other stuff that I mentioned for that price. That is great. And then if you pay $10 or more, you will also get Borderlands the pre-sequel, which is a nice addition. This was my least favorite of the three Borderlands games. This is more of a time filler kind of game. This wasn't your full Borderlands 3, but still pretty nice for $10. At the very least, I would pay a dollar to get the Game of the Year edition as well as The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing. The Beat the Average for Borderlands 2 and Endless Legend is also really solid, so check that out if you are interested. Speaking of pretty good game deals over on Steam, you can play Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands for free right now. The game itself is also 50% off. I didn't get a chance to play this game too much, I really wasn't that interested in it because Ubisoft has been putting out new IPs like The Division. And then we had a very ambitious project in Ghost Recon Wildlands, but it really didn't interest me all too much. I played a little bit of it and what I played was kind of cool. It's an open world cooperative shooter and it's got some cool elements, but now that you can play it for free over the weekend, I think that's a very enticing option. The game itself is 50% off down to $30, Deluxe Edition is $35, and then the Gold Edition is $50. So if you got a couple friends to play with, check this out. Wildlands is the best when you have a squad of four people to play play with solo, it's kind of eh, but if you've got a few friends to play with, definitely check it out, and since it's free, you can probably convince your boys to download it. And then the one final thing I want to talk about is this PlayStation 3 emulator as it's making more and more progress. A lot of you guys hit me up on Twitter about this as well, but the new update for RPCS3 shows how much resolution scaling can help games. So now you can take your PS3 games up to 10k. 10k is a little crazy, you need a monster PC to do that, but 4k, these games look ridiculous. I'll post a link down below in the description box where it shows you the difference of it and it is pretty amazing 4k makes it crystal crystal clear and regular 720p obviously doesn't look the best that's how the original ps3 games ran but yeah they're saying that anyone with a dedicated graphics card that has vulcan support can expect identical performance at 4k so that is pretty great we do know that rpcs3 had a little bit of drama surrounding it with atlas coming after them over persona 5 that was really unfortunate i was expecting better from sega and atlas but hey it is what it is I guess they saw it as a threat to their bottom line, but I really don't see it that way. Persona 5 isn't even available on PC. If people wanted to play it at this point, they would have gotten it on consoles. If they didn't buy a console at this point to play the game, I don't think anybody is going to randomly just decide, hey, I'll buy a console to play Persona 5. But that is besides the point. RPCS3 is making a lot of cool progress, so definitely check out that emulator. At least check out the footage of what's come out. It is some really inspiring stuff. So that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I got a lot more videos to create for you. Haven't even done game deals of the week yet. I need to get back to doing more PC hardware deals. I know a lot of you guys want me to do builds and those are coming back soon. I promise just been slumped with some stuff, but everything will be rolling again as always. Thanks for sticking with me and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.